You're watching News 6 at 10. Every week, groups of Northlanders get together to roll some dice and imagine a whole new world. They're enjoying Dungeons and Dragons, a role-playing game now celebrating its 30th anniversary. Kim Kaiser takes a look at the local gaming scene, and you might be surprised who's hanging out there. With a roll of the dice, these Northlanders are transported from a superior home into the Forgotten Realms. It's a world where knights come to the rescue, monsters lurk in dark corners, and imagination is king. There are a number of creatures in this room, uh, about four. Chris Hussey is leading this band of adventurers through a round of Dungeons and Dragons. The fantasy role-playing game has been around for 30 years now. You charge up there, you swing your great axe, and it, he kind of moves to the side so it only becomes a glancing blow at him. Chris um, is the game master, belt. describing a mystical setting for these players and the obstacles they encounter along the way. I get a lot of enjoyment out of uh, creating an uh, entertaining evening uh, for, for the players, um, who are also my friends. Some gamers call it interactive storytelling. The players make characters, elves, wizards, and orcs, and work as a team to accomplish a goal. The dice add the element of chance to determine their success. You've slain the three bugbears. Uh, what are you going to do now? We're going to start Search the room. Search the room? Make me some search checks. Tony Winslow is used to being the only woman at the table, but says that's changing. Like up here, yeah, I'm pretty much the only girl. But I used to live in Milwaukee, and um, our, my regular gaming group consisted of only women. Players say perceptions of D&D &D and the people who play it are changing too. It is a geeky thing to do, and but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, geeks are, are chic right now. You know, with comic movies and Spider-Man too. It's very cool to be a geek. Joe Croteau manages a shop in Duluth, geared toward the avid gamer. Our role-playing section, we uh, carry the full line of Dungeons and Dragons, just about you know anything you'll need to start playing. With books, miniatures, and dice, Robin Goodfellow lures in experienced gamers and those newer to D&D, &D, like 10-year-old Darian Plum. So I like a lot of the knights and castles and swords and all that kind of stuff. Darian says gaming is fun and teaches him math. Gamers say problem solving, strategy, and diplomacy are also valuable lessons. This shop is owned by city councilor Russ Stewart, and the gamers who come in have all sorts of day jobs. Lawrence Lee is a minister. I love playing role-playing games of all sorts because it, it's, it's a flight of fancy, it's adventurous, it's escapism in its best sense. And unlike most games, there isn't a clear winner or loser. It's not that kind of game. You, you win if you have a good time, and you lose if you don't. By that definition, these gamers are winning, even though they've just learned they're up against a huge red dragon. Wow! One player makes a daring, or perhaps foolhardy, attack. If he, if he lives through it, it's courageous. Well, I would be, uh, I'd be hiding really far <laughs> back there. But will the dice be lucky? That's a seven. You guys are toast. <laughs> Gamers say that kind of laughter is what keeps this game going around the world. I've been to 24, well, I guess since the National Guard, 26 different countries. And uh, I have played Dungeons and Dragons in probably 23 of them. So. There's always somebody to play with. Ready for another adventure of the imagination. Kim Kaiser, News 6. Well, a new beginner set for D&D is coming out this month. Hmm, just in time for Christmas, perhaps, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, millions of gamers will be gathering on October 16th to play on Worldwide Game Day.